Yeah. Oh man. I can't believe I got so much done today. Damn. Jack. Pizza Hut. I can't how how do you screw up Pizza Hut? Oh. Hi folks. Welcome again. I have a new notebook. Um actually this has been the happiest thing that's one of the happier things that happened to me today. I had an interesting day, folks. Hello, welcome again. I am the one, the only Hobo Tom here in the Hobo Studios. Ooh, here at Daytona Beach. And I threw out my wine bottle already. I was depressed. And whatever it was, it was some cheap Italian stuff. It was nice and fizzy. Italians make good fizzy wines. And I'm here to talk about, well, mostly talk about Raw. Um, no, not Raw. What am I talking about? I'm talking about SmackDown. Remember, you can see me a little bit after War Games and Survivor Series um, on Saturday and Sunday, respectively. Um, so SmackDown started, and I was at Pizza Hut because some bimbo gave my pizza to the wrong person or some other person that remained my pizza, which was very disturbing to me. And I actually saved the receipt, and I actually said, this is why I don't go to Pizza Hut that often. I think it was just they had 50% off pizza, so that's hard to resist, especially if it's a canned pizza with extra cheese and sausage. Oh, pizza Hut. I don't know what it is about Pizza Hut's cheese, but it's the best. Um, but somehow they managed to screw that up. I don't know how you managed to screw up orders. Like, the one... I'll give credit to the, to the manager. Like, he offered me something. I'm like, Nah, I just want my pizza and I want to go home. Uh, the the one girl was like doing all all the work, and the other one, other one's like, uh, "Where's the broom?" And like, the broom pan. I'm like, "Yeah, I know what the issue is. Or I know who the issue is. I'm not gonna fire them. They just need a, a good, good firm finger wagging, and definitely no Christmas bonus for her." Um, I eventually got my pizza. I think I ordered it at 7.35. And I did not leave Pizza Hut until 8.20. And once I saw it on my clock, I'm like, I'm missing smack. And it's going to make me late to Hobo because I think the end of SmackDown, I'm like, well, I might as well get some Christmas stuff done too. All I do Next week, besides Sunday's work, I'm probably going to wrap more this honestly, probably during Survivor Series. And depending on how War Games go, I might also wrap them up during War Games. So, enough about my, my issues of the day. Let's talk about SmackDown? Um, weird go-home show. I know I got I got to see it when Flair lost, and Flair is on Team Raw, I think. Yeah. Flair's on Team Raw. I guess they did, like, some Raw versus SmackDowns thing in order to prep them for War Games. No, 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 no. I mean Survivor Series. I still have no clue what's going to happen Saturday with War Games. I do have, again, if you want to check out my previous video, I, do make, I did make my predictions. We'll see how those predictions go, because this, this was a weird show. All I know is that woo, Charlotte Flair lost, NXT is standing on stage, and Team Blue is actually keeping people out of the ring. I guess that's good. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm, pull, I'm pulling for, for poor Dana Brooke, mainly because she's cute looking. I don't know what happened during this match. Um, I'm going to say if it happened like what happened at the end of the show, you know what? I'm just going to ma make it easy. This is a ham sandwich of a match. Even though I have no idea what happened, 
I have a feeling I did not miss much. And if I didn't miss much, it's probably a ham sandwich. Charlotte Flair and the whole group, there's no way it's going to be a cheeseburger quality match. It's probably not that bad for a soup or toast. Still a ham sandwich sounds about right. Again, if you want to disagree with me, Homo Tom, you missed the match of the night. Again, you can always feel free to email and or comment. I do have to read my emails because obviously I, I I did something that I had to copyright. And, and gives me no more strikes though. And I'm so happy because in eight more days I can live stream all I want, baby. Oh, and I have to drink my oh, boost drink so I can go hobo get this video through. Um, then the next thing I remember, I was getting my pizza ready. They have a preview for Survivor Series. Baron Corman's like, you know what? If NXT comes down, let them fight them. Don't do anything. Be smart. And then Bailey cut a promo. I do like heal Bailey's look. She's like heal who doesn't care, though. And I don't think that's really ever worked. Or someone great made it work, but Maybe The Rock made it work, but this is The Rock we're talking about. The, the Bailey, Bailey is no Rock. Um, then we had Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn come out to the stage. There is now a new Intercontinental title. And I'll tell you what, it, it looks good. If they would have done that to the Universal Championship. Universal Championship really just went from like red to blue. And now, I'll tell you what, it's a nice looking belt. It's a little bit different design, which is pretty good. Okay, I don't want, I don't, I don't want I'm rolling over there. But it's actually a pretty nice design. Again, I'll give WWE credit where credit's due. And by the way, stay tuned next week for on Thursday when I talk about my plans, what should happen next Survivor Series here in Daytona Beach. Because I thought of something amazing. And the Hunter Hearst Helmsley Paul Levesque, all in wants $10,000. Because you'll make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Easily, hand over foot. Again, just give me like 10000 and I'll be happy. And no more copyright violations. Make me copyright violation free for life. Whew, that's almost better than $10,000. The IC belt looks good. Um, they'll probably just retire the old one. The old, the white strap was, was good, but eh, it's always nice to move on every so often. And they actually had a pretty good unveil. Sammy Zayn is like, I'm going to give you this belt instead. Whoa. Sammy Zayn was almost face Sammy Zayn, too. That's weird. And then the Undisputed Era comes out because they're draped in gold because they couldn't remember what. Roderick Strong's name was. And Adam Cole just said, I'm Adam Cole, baby! And uh, then the New Day come out and they say, well, who's going to tag team with us? Ooh, 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 ooh. And uh, then, ding, ding, ding. Heavy machinery come out. And this started an eight-man tag. I think that was a the theme of the whole night. This was just fun. Uh, Bobby Fish, first of all, he can talk like anything. But Bobby Fish's knees absolutely terrify me. Uh, they sucker Biggie into the corner, and once they once he get in the undisputed era's corner, they're gonna beat the tar out of you. <laughs> and did did Kyle O'Reilly really get a na new tattoo? I thought I saw some fresh in, kind of spine to sternum, and like words like going across here somewhere. I know he had one. This just looks fresher looking, though. I, f I couldn't miss it, though. Uh, then, of course, they, they just isolate the New Day. They beat them up. Bobby, F the infamous Bobby Fish, is such a classic wrestler. So much nicer to read off a notebook versus trying to hold up a piece of paper. Uh, quick tags by the Undisputed Era. Again, smart tag team wrestling. Uh, eventually... 
Tucker tries to make the save on Kofi. Uh, Kofi falls on Tucker for his efforts. Otis goes to help his partner. Like Larry picks up Kofi Kingston. Otis then shoves Biggie. Uh oh, dissension among the ranks. We shall see. Uh, the undisputed era is obviously much more organized because they're not just thrown together really quickly. Um, Otis does get the hot tag. Otis is so fun. Otis, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. And I have to start seeing videos because I just sunk my camera again. Or I have to get a new computer one day. Um, but I'm going to keep on continuing because I don't feel like rest restarting yet. I just want to get this over with. Um, then Tucker and Otis are actually in trunks, which is weird to see. And Tucker did this amazing moonsault. I thought I was shocked when I could do a moonsault. But to actually see a big guy do a proper moonsault is great. Uh, Undisputed Era, they eventually do the total elimination to Tucker outside the ring. They throw Otis out. They isolate. I want to say, I think, I know New Day took the pin. I think it might have been Kofi Kings that took the pin. It was weird. But the Undisputed Era. Ashley got the win. And Ashley, probably the best night match of the night. And I'll say surf and turf match. And then AJ Styles and the club comes out. AJ Styles just ch jumped from where? Because I don't know where AJ Styles came from. Uh, then the, when the club comes out, they, they beat up everyone. Undisputed Era. Pff, they get out of there. AJ is still upset because you, Adam Cole, were part of Bullet Club. Not anymore. Neither am I. Neither is AJ Styles. Nor Carl Anderson. Nor Luke Gallows. They were upset. I don't see Bullet Club for him. I don't see Adam Cole lose his belt and become part of the, the club again. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, AJ Styles does a promo. Now the crowd starts to come alive and starts to chant because they are Chicago crowd. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. It is. Yeah, I'd meet him too. Uh, then Daniel Bryan comes out, goes a promo. Miz shows up. Whoa! Miz just slaps the spit off Daniel Bryan. They're gonna have a fight. Good. This is two years removed from when like this feud was actually hot. So it's finally good that they're finally getting to it. So Miz versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, Miz he never hits that, that that last yes kick. Daniel Bryan hits a knee plus when. The Miz is outside the ring. Daniel Bryan hits it when he's running from the apron. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Daniel Bryan hits all the yes kicks. That's always good to see. And then the lights go out. And the Fiend takes, takes the Miz's place prone in the corner. And that was pretty cool. Um, but not but we'll see what happens because I don't want to see the Fiend lose his title yet. He has to be very strong with that title. Eh. I could have cared less for the Smash. The fact that the Fiend was there made it a little bit better. This is just a ham sandwich of a match. Then Shannon Baszler comes to the ring, and she just she starts to cut a promo. Bailey jumps Shayna. I don't know who looks worse, Shayna or Bailey. I don't know. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a makeup or what. 
they're nice looking. They're not necessarily pretty though, if that makes any sense. Again, don't ask me to, to, to leave my position. It's just one guy's opinion. And it's not like I'm calling him anything nasty either. I'm allowed my opinion, right? Uh, it's going to be a weird sync up. Oh, wow, there it goes again. Uh, this is going to be a weird video. All the gremlins are coming out now. And I guess for the main event of the evening, we have Mustafa Ali, Shorty G, and Roman Reigns taking on Dolph Ziggler, Baron King, Baron Corbin, and Robert Roode. And I don't know, it's a fun enough match. Then, like, like for the entrance, they went right to commercial, had a weird out from the commercial. You just see, or I just saw Ziggler calling for the super kick and said he gets Superman, Superman punched for his efforts. Uh, Corbin's in tights and a tank top now? Different look. Don't know if I like it. We'll see what happens then. Uh, Shorty G gets spine busted by Robert Root on the outside. Uh, Roman Reigns is tussling with Baron Corbin on the outside. Ali G gets deep sixth and ate the pin. What? So, I'll be honest. This is just a ham sandwich. And then, burn it down! Uh, Seth, Roll Seth Rollins, the music hits. We have Seth versus Roman. Seth versus the big dog. And by the way, Bum Slicks, I have made your character. You are all good to go for the for the Trunksgiving version of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Dan Blaze, I'll probably work on you tomorrow. I'm going to just have to make the Gookie Gobbler and the Boss Lady I have to do any time before New Year's. So Seth and Roman start to go at each other, which is pretty good. Then the rest of Raw comes into the ring, beat each other up. Aaron, Dolph Ziggler, and Root sneak out. So it's like a 12-on-3 situation. Then the rest of the SmackDown locker room shows up. Probably just so, like begins slamming and running into people. He's so good. Uh, then NXT shows up. Uh, you know what that means? Everyone in the pool, folks. With the exception of Angel Garza. This was funny. When Angel Garza saw Roman Reigns, he began to run away. That was kind of funny. Uh, Keith Lee's in the middle of the ring. He starts. He spirit bombed uh, Cedric Alexander. That looked utterly amazing. Cedric Alexander looked like like someone like kicked him right in the kidneys. Like jumped up, cra like immediately grabbed his back, bounced off the ring. It was great. And then it teased a Braun versus Keith Lee. Mm. That could actually be really good. And then. I think that was kind of it. They were battling against the ropes. Eh, that's how Raw ended. And I'll tell you what, for being it's for being the go home show to one of the big four pay per views of the year, I was not impressed. And if I actually had to pay for SummerSlam or War Games. I honestly would not. Um, I was talking with Rebecca about this. If they're going to keep on doing war games, if it's going to be like a yearly thing from NXT, I have a feeling it's going to get old because they're doing the same thing all the time. With the exception of the first one, say three teams of three. Now it's just two teams of four. And eh, I don't know. It, it's just they're getting into that WWE. Well, this worked last time. And my concern is that it happens to AEW. And what I mean by that is that for every pay-per-view, they have like some lights out match. 
that could get old pretty quick. So honestly, this, this SmackDown for being a go home show, it's just a ham sandwich. Again, if I had to pay to see SummerSlam, I wouldn't. I don't think it would, it would be. It's going to be fun. SummerSlam, I think, is going to be better than um, War Games. But I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's just that weird thing. Maybe I'm getting old, and maybe they have to freshen things up a little bit. Or at least go back to the original style, because that was always fun. But that's it. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, probably sometime Saturday night, Sunday morning, I'll post my thoughts and reviews on War Games. And then Sunday, I'll do the same thing for Survivor Series. Uh, Monday, I'll talk about Raw. Tuesday. I don't know. I might try and get some impact in. We'll see what happens. Uh, Wednesday is definitely going to be AEW. And then Thursday, I'm going to post the Trunksgiving Challenge for the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. And I guess we'll get the aftermath of stuff both Monday and Friday for SmackDown. It'll be interesting. And then... I think there's going to be a live stream on Monday, on on Sunday, because I think Triple A is doing something. I think we'll find. I'll find out. Yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good night. Hopefully, everyone gets their pizza order straightened out. Bye.